Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh wow, these are my favorite type of leaks because last minute leaks are the best because you don't have to wait that long. We only got to wait a little under two weeks, which is still too long, but oh my god, I am so excited about today's leaks and to talk about them today, the stars are aligning, things are making sense, and if things don't go exactly the way I'm thinking they're gonna go, I'm gonna get real, real mad and upset, so let's begin. All right, Worldwide Developers Conference, little event, don't know if you guys knew about it, but it's supposed to be happening on June 22nd in a new online format, which should be very awkward and cringy, but a live stream will be watchable nonetheless. And let's get the important news out of the way that a lot of you probably care about. According to Bloomberg, which again, has a very reputable track record, Apple is about to announce their transition to their own custom in-house design CPUs and GPUs. Mark Gurman also confirmed they're working on this as well, and they're getting very promising results, but the good news, bad news of this announcement is that essentially they're going to announce that they're moving to ARM processors for the Mac, but they're not really going to announce any type of Mac with an ARM processor at this event. So kind of similar to the switch from PowerPC to Intel we had years and years ago, Apple's going to do something similar where they just kind of let developers know that the transition is happening, it's official, and to get ready to re-optimize your apps and get ready to redesign your software to be more ARM friendly, but they won't necessarily have a new MacBook or new Mac of any kind to showcase, hey, this is what's possible with the new ARM chip design. So obviously, it's a little bit of a fuzzy rumor. No one's saying it's for sure going to be this way, but I would say there's a chance, not necessarily a huge chance, but there's still a possibility that when Apple announces that there's going to be a new ARM processor, they will showcase it with some type of new hardware. A new MacBook would make a whole lot of sense just because ARM is great for power efficiency and prolonging battery life, so if they wanted to showcase that in some super thin ultra light MacBook that normally would have really crappy Intel processors but thanks to the arm switch can showcase like iPad Pro like performance in a MacBook design and they won't announce that it's shipping okay we've kind of had to abandon that idea that there's a new MacBook that's about to drop and start shipping really soon if they do announce any type of hardware it is easily months and months away from shipping and most leakers and analysts right now are suggesting that the first ARM Macs aren't going to ship until next year but they still want to announce it at this keynote so you can interpret that as you will it doesn't exactly sound like today's apple anymore you know the apple that brags about memojis and dark mode and slow fees you know it's very different apple than what we had you know over a decade ago when they announced from power pc to intel this type of apple i feel like would want to showcase what an arm powered mac can look like and what it can do performance wise which is why i think it makes sense for them to showcase hardware alongside it like this is what we want macs to be like and once we have total control of the inside and outside of the MacBook, this is what amazing things we can do. To me, that sounds like something Apple would do. But yeah, I gotta just report what the analysts are saying, and right now they're saying probably not gonna be new hardware, just an announcement that yes, we are officially switching to ARM, and you can expect those devices next year. But that is not the leak I want to talk about today, because I have been asking and praying to God himself for Apple to refresh the iMac line, given how dated, how neglected it is, the fact that it's still using fusion drives, even spinning hard drives, and the fact that the external design of the iMac has basically remained unchanged since before Steve Jobs died. Can you think of many Apple products that haven't changed in design since the iMac? Lightning ports, biometrics, wireless headphones, those were not even a thing when we got our current iMac design and it still has not changed, but we have finally got reports that Apple is about to drop a redesigned iMac and it sounds very much like my wish list video, which makes me so pumped because this is exactly what I've wanted for a long time. This leak comes from Sony Dick who is saying that Apple is going to introduce new iMacs that will resemble the iPad Pro type design and have Pro display like bezels along with a T2 chip as well as an AMD Navi GPU, which I don't really care about the GPU or the T2 chip. I'm just excited that for one, he said they're ditching the fusion drive. So yay, we're going all in on solid states. Finally, it's about time. And that they want to make it look a lot like the iPad Pro, which is my favorite Apple device. And if you guys recall my concept video, that was kind of the whole pitch around it. Take the iPad, make it bigger, put it on a stick and call it an iMac. That's how you redesign it. And man, if this ends up not happening, oh, oh. 
Oh, God, I don't know how I'm going to live with myself after this, because I've had a very special place in my heart for the iMac for the longest time, and I think it's awesome the idea of having a display, a computer, speakers, all in one uniform package, and just having one power cable plugged into the wall, but you have to compromise with such a dated design when you go with those iMacs, and it's far overdue for Apple to redesign it, especially when they're releasing stuff like the Pro Display XDR. It's just, while well, at the same time we're hearing this report, and yes, yeah, Sony Dickinson is not a super credible leaker. I scrolled through his Twitter timeline quite a bit after I saw this report because I'd never really heard his reports before, but what I've deducted from this leaker is that he definitely doesn't leak stuff very often, which is actually good news, I would say, because it's clearly not, you know, one of those random Twitter accounts that tries to leak things all the time and constantly. No, like, Sonny only tweets stuff when he has something. Like, the few times he has leaked things in the past, they've been right. Like, it was about the new iPad Pro camera module and the new camera sizes for the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, and he got all that stuff right. I didn't find a big list of leaks, but the few leaks he did have on his record were correct, which, because this is so out of the blue and kind of out of left field for him, makes me feel like it's more likely, and there's a big chance of it happening, and also because it's so close to Worldwide Developers Conference that, you know, as leaks get closer to events, they become slowly more and more accurate. And it's also not completely crazy, considering Coin X, the most reputable Apple leaker out there, he said a new iMac was coming, alongside saying it was a new Mac Mini coming, and, you know, that was just, you know, storage upgrades. So a lot of us assumed new iMac, that just meant some new storage upgrades, but June is ticking on by, and we still haven't gotten that website refreshed for the iMac, so if we're hearing this leak at the same time, and, you know, Mac Takara talked about there being 23-inch and 27-inch iMacs coming later this year. By the way, I don't care if they're not shipping the iMac soon. I don't care if they announce these new designed iMacs and say they're coming in December. That would be fine. I'm willing to wait a little bit longer if that's what it takes, but essentially at this point, I am very, very much hoping that we don't get a storage website refresh because at this point, if they updated the website just with new storage options and then they put the new badge over the dated iMac design, then that would kind of kill this report. I highly doubt Apple would refresh the design right after refreshing the internals. So as long as there's no new iMac refreshes between now and WWDC, I think there's a fairly good chance of this thing happening. Watch the website get refreshed tomorrow and I get to kill my dreams prematurely. Yep, that's probably what's going to happen, but there's still a lot of ways this can go wrong. I am just holding out hope that this is going to be the dream iMac I've always wanted. I mean, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. For one, they could put the Pro Display XDR crap in it, which would make it insanely expensive. For two, they could give it the Pro Stand support, so it's like, yay, new all-in-one iMac design, but you got to spend a thousand dollars if you want it to stand up on its own. Oh god, I'm worried. I, I hope they don't do that. If it's an iPad Pro type design, maybe they could equip these things with some 1080p cameras, like the ones in the iMac Pro? Huh? That would be nice. But oh man, my hype for WWDC was here, and now it is elevated to twice that. I cannot wait to see what happens. I really hope this ends up being right, and if it's wrong, like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is going to kill me. I don't I don't know how I'm gonna take it if it ends up being incorrect, but I'm gonna be really mad at this Dickinson guy in the event that he was just making stuff up and tweeting stuff for the sake of it. But it doesn't seem like him, based on his previous tweets. So, really, really hope this ends up happening, and I really hope we can get a look at our first our MacBook design. Even if they don't ship it, you know, even if you don't want to start shipping this thing until 2021, at least show us what it looks like, Apple. Show us what the potential of an ARM Mac can do. Don't just be like, yep, we're doing it. Anyway, next slide, let's talk about tvOS. Don't care about that, okay? Just show us what it would look like. What are you guys most excited for at WWDC? Feel free to hit me up over on Twitter, join my Discord, we can chat more about it there. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I'm ready to get hurt again. <laughs> oh.